Just own it. Just be like, yeah, I got the small dick and I'm good at math. Whatever, you know, and I got good credit. I guess like- Do all Asians think the same? Asian stereotypes and jokes are so played out. Yeah. If it's the same shit that we've heard for the last 50 years, like, miss me with that. It's so boring at this point. All right, name some jokes, dude. What are, what are the jokes? What are you, Ace of March, my boy Alex? Asian food is better than American food, hands down. I could eat Asian food every single day of my life, but I couldn't do that. Oh, I could do that for America. I'm just, I, I'll eat like a dog. I'll just eat whatever you give me. Wait, describe American food though. I just, I just thought of hamburgers and like, oh. like hamburgers American Well, food. just anything yeah, not Asian food. Asian food is just superior stuff, in every so way. Like, of course, like Asian Ben says it all the time. I'm glad I'm born Asian. <laughs> I was just denied Asian food for a long time. My Who mom said disagree though? Caucasian. I love Asian food. It's who I am, but I'm from Texas. So I grew up on like chicken fried steak and biscuits and all that kind of stuff. So I, I fucking love America. You're telling me you'd eat all that stuff every day instead of Asian food? I think my, not like my own rate, like maybe Asians, my yes, but not within my specific there. race. Um, he's happy. Like no my mom has never I'm really happy. like been like to a Chinese person. My mom never specifically but. said it, but it was almost like if I don't bring home. There's definitely Korean some biases. Or Caucasian, which is her preference. Like, I don't know if she's going to disown me. I don't know. Will, will she kind of push away a little bit from me? And I don't want that. Asian stereotypes are fun. Everyone's gonna go to dis disagree wow. side. I go somewhat agree. Are funny? <laughs> I feel like. Oh wait, somewhat disagree. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this guy literally—he backtracked so hard. He was like, "Oh, I see everyone on the disagree side." <laughs> He was thinking I of all the like all the Jackie Chan movies, disagree. all the rush hours. Funny. This is the moment he steps back and he's like, he, he thinks about Chris Tucker, Are Jackie Chan, funny? all those Asian movies. And he's like, I oh yeah, yeah, those were hilarious. And then he's like, oh no, 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 no. Uh, everyone's yeah, on the disagree <laughs> side. What was that decision making in your head during well, that? Well, my moment. head is like stereotypes are a reflection of perceived behavior. And also I, I write comedy. And so I'm constantly thinking of ways to maybe subvert a stereotype to get a laugh. I feel like it's always dangerous though because you never know if the joke is going Dude, to Dude, Asians are just scared of getting canceled. Oh, That's it. Fun of the we're just scared of we're we're scared of getting canceled. But even what then, else you're is there? Like the we don't want to get canceled. It's not funny, but your subversion of it is. Okay. So. No, it's funny. Like Joe Coy has a whole stand-up about Filipinos and Asians and Koreans and Japanese people. Like, it's hilarious. Just laugh at it. It's a fucking joke. Jackie Chan movies, Chris Tucker, Rush Hour, hilarious. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I think I'm just, no, like, go to agree. Of, go to like, agree. Asian stereotypes and jokes are so played out. Yeah. No. It's the same shit that we've heard for the last 50 years and like- What is this? What is the same? Like, the, oh, Asians are good at math. That's not really like a joke. Like- the jokes are like the Joe Coy trying to grab a 50 pound bag of rice, trying to drag it all the way across the supermarket as a 12 year old. That's jokes hilarious. So played I'd make my kid yeah. do that and laugh. The same shit that we've heard for the last 50 years in like American culture, then like miss me with that. It's so boring at this point. I don't find it funny. Dude, Dude just listen to like the Joe Asian Coy spe a special, uh, what is it called? Coming in hot special on kind of Netflix. Stereotypes. Those kind hilarious. Of stereotypes play into like we Asians want to it talk just depends about, like, how you frame the stereotype. And, like, it's like Joe Coy in a special. Totally he was like, oh yeah, you saying I like, I, I'm, I'm, I like fried chicken because I'm black? You can't just take one. Like he was like, you can't just take one stereotype and then reject the others. You know, you can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm good at math. I'm, I'm the Asian one. And then be like, oh no, no, no. Like uh, I, got, I don't got a small dick, you know? Just own it. Just be like, yeah, I got the small dick and I'm good at math, whatever, you know? And I got good credit. Well, I guess like when you say, when, when the statement is Asian stereotypes are funny, I'm often thinking about Western stereotypes oh, about yeah. Asians. And I'm like, no, it's not funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> When you say it has it easier, I think it discounts the amount of work that's gone into building up, building those communities up, people working up towards, you know, becoming professionals or white collar professionals. Like, I don't think they have it, Asians have Yeah, it but easier. Asian people don't get shot I by think police. many Asians have just fought harder. I don't, I'm not saying the other communities don't, I just think that I think they no. have earned it. 
I think that Asians don't have it like as hard as black white people. Supremacy works. In America, yeah, like props for Hispanics and black people have it way harder than Asians. Like that's just that facts. All of this stuff that we've gotten is purely through our hard like, work. Like it's not like to discredit Asians, the work that's gone into building up the Asian God. communities, Portrayed but like and the perception of Asians. But yeah, like we don't have as many like overtly like negative. It doesn't take away just like because like us, like you know? just to say I mean, we like, have it easier does not take away the work. Nobody's like out about Asians. Black people just have it harder. Like like. It's like just Asian people aren't getting shot by police, see, especially also like Asian Americans that well, she, she said it and like no negative stereotypes that are like thrown at us, yes. you know, I mean, like I don't have as many like overtly like negative stereotypes that are like thrown at us, yes. you know, I mean, yeah. like, you like, look at yeah, when you compare it, and, like, like nobody's it's just not about Asians coming into the, the country, same. which I feel like Asian culture is important to me. Three, two, agree all the way. Uh, Strongly agree. Everyone's going. Whoever's not going, like, why would you, why would you not strongly? Yeah. Like, the food is just too good. If you voted yes on the food, you're going <laughs> strongly <laughs> agree. It's okay. We just want to know what you think. Like, do you, yeah, exactly. Do you see the posters I mean, like, behind I, me? I, I think, like, do you I see this? Think about this a lot. Is like sometimes I forget that I'm Asian, and then like it's kind of jarring to be reminded that I am, and so like. Were you raised like with strong cultural values and stuff? Um, I was raised, I'm a military brat. I think there can be balance in that. And that was the biggest problem I had growing up is that I didn't know if I wanted to be American so bad. I, I, had, I thought I had to choose a side. And then eventually I, I was like, look, both are part of who I am. But what has furthered this strongly agree part is that I have a three-year-old child. He's half Bro, you're, half you're taking days. like your, this guy is taking his experience as like, a kid and implementing it to the answer as like an adult. They're asking you like, Asian culture is important to me. It's like, yeah, like maybe not as a kid, like we all wanted to be, we all wanted to probably not be Asian, but what about now? It's like, for me, like you don't, you're telling me you don't eat this food? I feel a lot of pain still and a lot of grief because when we moved to the US and you know, this was like, in a time still where you need to speak to your kids in English, they have to just know English and anything else will confuse them. So my mom stopped speaking to me in Hakka and I forgot that language. And we also didn't really celebrate any cultural traditions, you know, Chinese or Malaysian or Chinese and Malaysian, I have no idea what that really is. And so um, my culture is important to me, but I'm still like trying to find my way back to it. Where like, I came from, there's more, a reason why a all these people are here, and if, of where you if they said from, Asian culture is not important to me, that. like, at the strongest degree, then, like, so then you're not in this video. I don't understand. No.